Hi, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Henna and this is Spur. And today we are going to do a cardio pilates workout to help you burn a lot of calories and to tone your whole body, get stronger. So if you're ready to throw your mat, let's do this together. Alright, now let's start with some warm-up movements. So I want you to open your legs with the pad, keep your feet parallel to each other, soften your knees in neutral, pull the belly button all the way in, inhale, and exhale deeply. Now put your hands on your rib cage and inhale, feel your rib bones kind of like stick out. I want to exhale deeply through your mouth to hide the rib cage in and create like a flat surface in the tummy. And that's how we engage the abs. So inhale and exhale. Good. Now try to not lift your shoulders up and down when we breathe. So inhale and exhale deeply. And one more deep breath. Exhale deeply. Good. And the arms along your body, soften your knees. I want you to rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Now bring your head to one side, feel the side of your neck is stretching and to the other side and back to the centre. A couple more times each side with your own breath. Slowly inhale and exhale. Inhale again and exhale to the opposite side and one last time. And slowly bring your head back to the centre. Start to rotate your head around your neck. Inhale halfway and exhale halfway. Keep your back in neutral position. Reverse. And one more round. And then reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center. That's awesome. Now you wanted to open your arms to the side. Relax your shoulders and inhale. Just stabilize your hips here and rotate your torso. Come back to the other side and back to the center. Make like a two step to rotate. One, two, back to the center, one and further and come back to the other side. And again, make sure you only rotate your torso so that way you feel your up leg is twisting, but your hips still facing forward. Inhale, exhale, twist, come back, inhale. And two more times each side. And last one, to the opposite side and slowly bring it back. Shake your hips, shake your legs and deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now one more move before we move to the main workout. So I'm gonna to inhale, open your legs, hip width apart, and lift your arms all the way up. Exhale slowly, bring your arms down, lift your heels off the mat, and then come back with your own breath. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. If you have follow me for a while, you could know that I tend to do a lot of low impact cardio pilates workout which we don't jump and it will help a lot with the knees and the ankles. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Engage your abs still, three. Lengthen your arms, two. Last one and slowly bring your hands down, shake your hips gently, take a deep breath and deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and I wanted to allow yourself to open your leg just a little bit wider than the hips and we're gonna start the main workout. So rotate your toes to the side and open your arms to the side. And I wanted to inhale, bend your knee to one side, shift your weight to one side and then switch and slowly, just with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. You can open your legs even wider, your feet further from each other to make it easier for the balance and also to make it feel more move and muscles engage. Good. Relax your shoulders still. Come back. Now I'm going to try to do the same thing but as quick as you can. So let's do this together. Keep breathing. Engage your abs and pull the belly button in and listen to your knees. So don't bring your knees so far, just only to the point that you feel good with the knees. Listen to your body. Good. And three, two, and last one. 
and slowly bring it back to the center, rotate and bring your feet to the center. Now I wanted to shift your weight to one side, so create like a flat the line, straight line from your shoulders, your hips and your ankle. Extend your opposite leg and I wanted to inhale, lift your arms up and shift your weight to the other side, lift, come back to the opposite side. So make sure you do it smooth by shifting your torso to one side first before we go to the other side. Engage your abs as much as possible. Pull the belly button in. Good. As quick as you can. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. All right, now I'm going to allow yourself to inhale and come to the beginning of the mat. So now slowly round your spine, pull the belly button in, walk your hands to full plank. Shoulders on top of the wrist and feel free to put your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. So take a deep breath, lengthen your arms if you feel comfortable with the wrist. Now hips up and down and up. And five more times with your own breath slowly. Four before we speed it up. Three, engage your abs. Two, and last one. And uh, just speed it up as quick as you can. So keep breathing. Good. Listen to your body and when you shift your weight to the front, your shoulders on top of the wrist. Pull the belly button all the way in. Good, keep breathing. Again, anytime, put your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. And three, good, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees down. Come to try pause, take a deep breath, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Good. And now I want to allow yourself to slowly put one leg forearm down to the mat and your knee bend, your top leg lengthening, extend the ankle. Now I wanted to find a balanced spot that you can lift your opposite hand without falling down on the side. So you can also tuck your ankle to have more balance. Hands all the way up to the ceiling, over your head. Lift your top leg parallel to the ground, engage your abs. Inhale and exhale, knee to elbow, and then lengthen, and knee to elbow, and lengthen. Do it slowly for five times. Four, before we're speeding up. Three, good, that's amazing. Two, and last one, and speed up so, as quick as you can. Keep breathing, engage your abs as much as possible. Good, I wanted to hear your own breath. So every time you bend your knee and move, take a deep breath to switch. Exhale, bend, inhale, lengthen. Good, keep breathing. And three, two, one, and slowly bring it down. Come to full on for position again. One more move before we move to the other side. So tuck your feet, lift your knees off the mat. Start to bring your hips from left to right. So 10, 9, 7, 6, 4, 3, And slowly back. You can come to try pause before we move to the other side. So inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath and exhale deeply. Good. And when you're ready, let's move to the other side. Awesome. Good. So forearm down. Your leg, ankle tuck. And so I wanted to again lift your opposite hand off the mat until we can keep balance here. Lengthen your leg, your top leg parallel to the ground. The other hand lift up and over your head. 
knee to elbow come back and five more times like this so five slowly four before we get up three that's amazing two and last one and speed up as quick as you can good Three, two, one, slowly bring it down. Come to on for position again, tuck your feet. And again, we're gonna try to do left. It's from left to right as quick as you can. Ten. Back to the center, come to try pose again. Take a deep breath. Feels amazing. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Awesome. Now you need to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly. So hands over your head. Legs legs and knees and pull the belly button in, lift your arms and your legs just above the mat. Open your arms and legs to the side and then come back as quick as you can. So let's start. Good. Stabilize your torso, pull the belly button all the way in. Go a little bit quicker if you can. Don't hold your breath. Every time you open your arms, exhale. Lengthen your legs and move from your hips. Good. Keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. Bring your torso down. Gently shake your hips. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Alright, now the next movement. And I wanted to again inhale. Lengthen your hands over your head. Lift it up and then slowly bend your elbows, pull your elbows to backward along the body and lengthen again and back, engage your abs. So you can make it more challenging by lifting your legs up just about the hips, engage your abs as much as possible, as quick as you can. 10, 9, So down again take a deep all right now the next movement your chest close your elbows towards the back now slowly press your hands down push your whole torso including your hip bones off the mat and then slowly bring it back so don't have to lift so high, just listen to your body only to the point that you still can keep your back in neutral position and come back or if you feel more comfortable with gently arching your back then do it but we want to strengthen our arms and abs here so really close your elbows and push with your hands and your arms first amazing and five come back, squeeze your booty, squeeze your Abs, four, belly button in, inhale up, three, exhale down, and two, come back, and last one, and slowly bring it back, is then, and I want to engage your abs, press your whole forearms down, pull the belly button in, lift your hips off the mat, so we Come to half plank. Now we want to inhale, extend the angle, 
engage your abs as much as possible now this time inhale lengthen on and come back to the other side back to the center as quick as you can in 30 seconds so let's do this together ready let's start engage your abs as much as possible and make sure you keep your back in neutral position so don't drop your hips down really engage the abs here squeeze your booty squeeze your inner thighs as good as you can it's a new move for today i hope you enjoyed it let me know by comment below keep breathing and don't hold your breath it would be really awesome if you can hear your own breath because it's gonna help to engage your abs and three two and last one take a deep breath gently shake your hips in your deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth I'm sweating so much today now take one more deep breath and exhale deeply good allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees extend the ankle arms along your body now inhale and start to bring one leg down come back to the opposite side back to the center make sure you keep the same angle on your knees so 10 9 and you can do both legs at a time if it's more challenging for you work with the muscles a little bit before we speed it up that's amazing or both legs at a time like I said so keep breathing slowly back in neutral position amazing and two and last one and then speed it up each leg at a time and we're running make sure you stabilize your hips press your hip bones down as good as you can keep the same angle on your elbow your knees good amazing shoulder blades press down to the mat really engage your abs very good move from your hips keep breathing We'll go a little bit more. Almost done, guys. Keep breathing. Squeeze your inner thighs. Really feel it on your hips and your legs and your abs. Amazing. And three, two, and last one. And now slowly slow down. Don't stop right away. Just slow down. Head off the mat, hands support your head, engage your abs, and start to lift your chest to the opposite knee. Keep breathing, and now try to speed up as quick as you can. Let's start. It's gonna be a little bit slower because you have to move your torso, but I wanted to try your best with your own speed as quick as you can. Stabilize your hips. And again, try to keep the same angle on your knees. I, for a second, I kind of forgot about that. But then I'm gonna, I got back on track now. So I hope you do the same thing. Good. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your torso down. Take a deep breath and head deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, arms along your body again, flex the ankle. Now push one leg further away, come back to the opposite side and back to the center. Your arms lifting up, so your opposite arm go with your opposite leg. Come back to the other side and back to the center. Again, hip stabilized, torso stabilized, and let's do this in 30 seconds. So let's start as quick as you can. Good. You can even speed up as quick as you can and don't have to pause between the legs. So keep breathing, really stabilize your torso here. Engage your abs as much as possible. Oh, this feels amazing. Good. I don't think I've ever done this move before. No, I haven't. So I guess that's the second new move for today. Good. Push. Try to go a little bit further. 
really engage those abs together as quick as you can. Your own speed, don't hold your breath. And any time during this, you can just take a quick breath, quick rest, but stop and then come back right away when you're ready. So just keep breathing, you can do this. Lower your legs to work your lower abs at the same time. And push, try to push your leg all the way forward. That's amazing. Like we're running in the air. And three, two, and last one. And slowly, knees down, feet down. Take a deep breath, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Now open your legs with the fat arms along your body. Press your feet down, tuck your tailbone and draw your hips all the way up. Squeeze your booty and draw your hips each vertebra at a time down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down. And a couple more times. Up. Squeeze your booty, come back. And lift. And bring it back. In five. Slowly. Four. Three. And two more times. Last one. And slowly bring it back, shake your hips, take a deep breath, and you're deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, lengthen your legs all the way up, flex the ankle, open your arm to the side, open your legs, come back. You can stop to your knees a little bit if it's easier for you to keep your hips stabilized. Now, open, slowly come back in four, three, two, take a deep breath. Last one, now. speed it up as quick as you can. Your whole legs are moving. You can make it more challenging by move your arms at the same time. So bend your knees here. Try to go all the way but stabilize your torso. Really engage your abs. And keep breathing, your shoulder blades up and down the mat. Squeeze in your thighs. Belly button in. Contract your pelvic floor muscles gently. Amazing. And three, two, last one. And slowly. Lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms, or just soften your knees a little bit if it's easier for your hips. So take a deep breath, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply. Now we want to roll up halfway, so I want to inhale, chin to chest, gently, not all the way, just gently, not the head, and then draw your torso off the mat, and up, lift your chest up. I wanted to inhale, try to reach your hand to one knee and to the opposite side, switch. <laughs> Pull the belly button all the way in and 30 seconds here in total. So go a little bit further. Now if you feel any time you need to support more with the neck, use your hand to support and use your chest, your shoulders to lead the movement. Good. And three, I want you to feel it on your obliques, on the side of your waist. And last one is slowly. Bring your torso down. Take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. All right, next movement. Next movement, knee to chest. Lengthen your opposite leg. Use your hand to support. Or use one hand to support your head again if you need to. So listen to your body and switch to the other side and switch. So as quick as you can, in 30 seconds, let's start. Good, keep breathing. That's amazing. Go a little bit further. And stabilize your torso, chest higher to protect your neck. Anytime you need to, again, feel free to use your hand to support your neck and your head. Stabilize your hips, pull the belly button in, lengthen your leg all the way to the front. Exhale every time you switch. So quick like that. I need to hear your own breath. Awesome, guys. And three, two, one. And slowly bring your torso down. Take a deep breath. And you're deep your nose. 
put it into your mouth and one more deep breath and exhale deeply all right now start to bring look to the left just rotate only your head and then look to the right stretch with the neck a little bit come back one more time to the other side right to the center and now i'm going to bring your face towards the shoulder your on side of the shoulder so go a little bit further and come back to the opposite side and slowly bring your torso back to the center Knock your head chin to chest hug your knee to the chest and then look over your head and bring it back all right all right now i wanted to lean on one side to sit up I want to try to do one more challenge before we complete the workout today. So hands behind your hips, close your elbows all the way to the back. You now bend your knees. If you feel that you want more support with the wrist, put your whole forearms back to the back. Otherwise, right, just lift it up and lift your hips up from it. So now engage your up. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Look to the front. Don't pull your chin up to the ceiling because it's going to cause a lot of pressure on your neck and you don't want that. Now, even when you don't move, we already see your arms are working. We're kind of shaking a little bit after the whole workout. So I want you to take a deep breath and exhale deeply. Good. And now slowly inhale, move your feet towards the center. Open your leg to the side, walk, and then walk back. So you can walk a little bit smaller. If it's easier for you to move, I find it. If I move within the mat, it's easier to keep the balance. Otherwise, you're gonna have to work really hard if you want to move it to the next level. And if you feel confident with your neck, then please feel free to do that. Good, as good as you can. Run and run, 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 run. Or just with your own speed. We don't have to be so quick, just as quick as to the point that we can burn the calories. And that's good enough. We compete with our own self. Good. And five, four, three, almost done guys. Two, and last one. And slowly, hips down, hug your knees to your chest, take a deep breath. Round your spine, flex forward. Gently shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. And slowly lengthen your spine when you're ready. Lengthen your legs or bend your knees if it's easier to lengthen the spine. Sit tall, rotate the wrist first, and then reverse. Interlace your fingers and then rotate and reverse. All right, bend your knees, open your knees wider, flex forward, just as far as you feel good with the lower back and slowly walk your hands back. Exhale forward, and inhale, come back, lengthen. And one more time, and lengthen. All right, and slowly open your legs as wide as you can. Flex the ankle, flex to one side, feel your hamstring is stretching. Stay here for a couple of seconds. Go to the other side. And back to the center. Cross your legs or bend your knees if it's more comfortable for you. Lengthen the spine, hands on your knees. Rotate the shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Lift one shoulder up and down to the other side. Come back. Keep doing it with your shoulders and one more time and now rotate one shoulder into the other side backward each shoulder at a time so you're gonna really go full into four directions yes and reverse forward all the way good and now start to rotate your head around your neck Inhale halfway, exhale halfway, fully to four directions and then reverse. 
one more round and reverse and slowly bring your head back to the center take a deep breath open your arm to the side inhale lean on one side to the side bending come back to the other side back to the center five times each side shoulders relax when you're back to the center And two and last one go a little bit farther and back to the center hand to the opposite knee rotate to the back and to the other side and back to the center articulate the spine cut and cow in sitting position and round and articulate the spine and round your spine inhale Exhale, round. Then two more times, slowly. Engage your abs gently. Last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Gently shake your hips, take a deep breath. Inhale deep through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. Exhale deeply. And that's the work on today. Thank you so much for joining me. And check out the playlist, uh, Cardio Hit Pilates, on my channel to have more Pilates for weight loss and fat loss workout. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye.